Hi, my name is Dennis from Extreme Air USA. Today I'm going to show you how to install a wall mounted range hood. Before we install our range hood, we want to protect our cooktop. So we want to take a tarp I've also made a plywood top with two pieces of 2x4 protect the range top. Sturdy. Put my tools on it. It becomes my workstation. These are some of the tools you may need. A power screwdriver, power drill, tape measure, level, a stud finder, stainless steel tape, pencils, and the mounting screws and they come with the hood. This is optional. For easier installation you may use cabinet jacks or you may use the help of a friend. The next step is to mark a vertical center line between the two cabinets. Then we're going to mark the holes for our mounting bracket, mounting screw holes. In order to mark those we need to find the distance between the cabinet countertop in our case, it's 26 inches to this point right here. From here to the hole, we look at our range hood. In our case, it's 15 inches to our hole. So total distance is 41 inches to the mounting bracket hole. Center line between the two. We measure the distance between the two holes. And center it. Step three is to prepare the duct work and the outlet for our range hood. The hole can be anywhere as long as it's in the dimensions of the chimney. The outlet can be anywhere the same thing as long as it's accessible. Check your local building code for the duct work material. Step four is to install the ceiling bracket. Place the center of the upper chimney bracket in line with the center line and all the way up to the ceiling, then screw it to the wall. Next is install the mounting anchors and screws. Leaving a screw one eighth of an inch. After we've marked our center line and found the mounting screw hole bracket holes, we're going to mark the studs on the wall. So I put a piece of tape. Step five is to hang the hood and connect. You may need help in hanging the hood. Carefully lift the hood onto the two screw holes, the screw brackets. Use a level to make sure the hood body is level. Use a hand screwdriver to tighten the two mounting screws. Connect the exhaust on the hood to the duct fork above. Use aluminum tape to make sure all joints are secure and tight. Find the three prong plug and connect it to an electrical outlet. Use an eighth inch drill bit to drill through the back of the hood in line with the blue tape. Secure the secure. hood body by using inch and a half long wood screws, they're not provided, through the back of the hood into the stud. Sure to securely fastened to the wall, we're going to test the control panel to make sure there was no damage done during installation. Refer to your owner's manual under range hood operation. Take off the outside chimney protective laminate, but do not remove any on the inside yet until you measure how tall your chimney needs to be from the ceiling, in our case maybe 21 inches. So we're going to measure maybe four inches more and then leave that protective coating on so that when we move the inside chimney it won't scratch the stainless steel. Place both the chimneys on top of the range hood base. Mm -hmm. Secure the outside chimney to the base of the hood. Attach the inside chimney to the ceiling mounting bracket. Now that you've completed your installation, if you have any questions or concerns or advice, 
You can email us or contact us at our technical support team below. Thank you for watching.